switched on ASAP. Yeah. Alright? That's it. That's it. What's the matter with it? No oh, this, it's just a sip of it. Oh. Any famous last words? Welcome back everyone, we are here for another cutting video, two weeks on now from our mammoth road trip up north to Cumbria, North Wales and Wigan. We're back at Wilton Mill, a track we know all too well um, in February for a gloriously sunny but very damp test day. As you can see we're on the wet tyres, a bit late out to this practice session, this is a members only test day we had just a couple of weeks after Wigan and um, on a drastically different car as well um, so obviously you remember last time we took a massive impact into the wall at Rara um, and in the wake of our 2022 season we wanted to make sure the car was ship shape and ready so we're actually out here on uh, another chassis most of the parts are still from my original car but we've got a different frame underneath us which seems to be making all the difference and you join us as we're heading out now on a, on a drying track on wet tyres and uh, using the visor cam once again. And we went out to this session a little bit late, bit of a rush, uh, changeable conditions all day. And um, as you can see, we're struggling for pace a bit. I actually went way too high on the tyre pressures. So it just felt like we were floating around. Yeah, so it came in up. halfway through. And Luke, flat out as you can see, just dropping them down. Track not quite ready for slicks, it's just on the cusp. Yeah. But um, as oh, some eagle eyed viewers may have seen as we were dropping it. the cart down, forgot about the, uh, <laughs> the ratchet on the floor tray. Oh, for f sake, really? Get out of the way. Yeah, we came back out with like a minute to spare, about a lap or so. And already you can see just how such a really subtle setup change. Just laying a little bit of air out the tyres, it's just transformed the handling. We can actually get into the corners a bit more now. Uh, but unfortunately that was the end of the session, so that was, well... Remember that uh, eBay Junior at GYG? Yeah. That's what's happened. <laughs> Luke there referring to uh, what we call an eBay racer who broke down at GYG and thought it was like a corporate cart session where you had to wait for the marshals to come get you and uh, just just parked it in the middle of the track and ruined everyone's session and that uh, happened in the juniors but as you can hear it's very slippy uh, we're now on the slick tyres and yeah so this test day just a bit of context getting a bit more preparation in for the Wilton Mill Car Club at the end of the month and also for our 2022 calendar yeah. we're going to be back here more than once in the coming month can't confirm for what exactly as Kieran Ginali takes the scenic route on the yeah, going for a new tyre run on a very greasy track so yeah, not entirely sure why I'd bother doing that, unless that's all you've got. But yeah, just trying to get a bit more confidence. The three day test we did was, was definitely very positive and we found a little bit of, I don't know, just getting back into it a lot quicker. And there were some improvements, but ultimately we had some issues and we still need to be out in the car much more regularly. One weekend of intensive prep is not going to suddenly cure all our issues, so we're trying to be out as regularly as we can every other week ideally. So that is why we're here at Wilton Mill, not just for the fact that we're here in a couple of weeks time, but um, yeah, we just need to get the, the seat time in and that's what's going to help us ultimately improve, ever so important. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of an average day really, kept making mistakes, trying to build up some confidence, going into the corners harder, but just 
kept getting spat off the track with it being greasy and just a bit of a messy day. But once I had a reference at the end, it was all right, but... Yeah, overall just messy. There, there are points though. I mean, uh, our teammates were sort of a little bit down the road on us. However, the other cards actually, um, tyres aside, we were probably a little quicker then. You good? So, flash forward another week, and we are on the road again to another new venue. It's a very, very long five and a half, six hour drive to Karting North East in glorious Sunderland, or Wardlaw as it's also known. Um, another venue we're going to be visiting more this season. And we're here for their club round, their RKR Championship, with their testing on the Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Bit of a change from the norm, but um, it's enabled us to compete with some big names actually on the entry list. You can see Lewis Gilbert there just going out in front of us. So, yeah, some people to learn off, which is going to be very, very useful as we head out for one, some of our first laps at this circuit. Louis Weaver back in front of us, trying to follow him around. But yeah, these are just some of our very, very early laps of the circuit. Um, and actually some of the only dry running we got. It was actually meant to tip it down for this test day, but uh, lucky us, we've got a nice dry test day. So let's follow a lap. Quite a fast turn one, just a little lift. Probably could have gone in a little bit harder there. Run the curbs through here, through this double right. Ping it off this corner very nicely into this quick little left. In many ways, this is like a, a little bit like Bayford Meadows, just faster. I like to think of it as Bayford on steroids. We've got this section which is a bit similar to going around the mound and then into this really quick chicane. I absolutely love this chicane, probably my favourite part of the whole lap. Just clobbering the kerbs, flat out around this, anything that's not straight at all. And down off camber in this long, long sweeping corner. This is one track I was a little bit concerned about just due to the sheer volume of corners and the fact I've never been here. But as you can see, there are some sort of transferable skills from Bayford. Um, well, similarities anyway. But this is something you start to notice as you do more and more running at different circuits. There's a lot of transferable knowledge and transferable skills and corners that are more or less the same as other circuits. So you can sort of, you know, it just makes it that little bit easier trying to get back into it. But we were building up quite nicely. Um, started going to some of the corners a bit harder even though we're not actually running on new tyres this weekend, so on a race weekend you tend to run new rubber, but uh, we didn't have the funds for that. This was quite a late call-up. Um, uh, team wanted me to do this round, because I've never been here, and I wanted to do it too, but just didn't have the money for new tyres, so. Either way, we come in, weigh ourselves on the scale on the way bridge, struggle to make the corner. But yeah, those were some of our first laps of one law. I do have another session where I was probably driving a little bit better, but um, the light wasn't as good, so I thought it'd be better to show some laps in actual in actual daylight. But yeah, we flash forward a couple of sessions now, and you can see spots of rain on the visor, and obviously it's very very dark now, um, due to it being an IKR, um, and there are no restrictions with um, like floodlights and everything. We can run under the floodlights for testing, which is quite cool actually. Last time I did this was probably Buckmore in what, 2019 dual cameras and as you can see by the spots on the camera and um, it's wet annoyingly it's been like this greasy. yeah greasy uh, on and off rain for much of the afternoon evening um, which is quite annoying trying to get some actual proper running in and learn the circuit did mean we got to do some wet laps as well so we get to know the laps uh, the lines in the, in the dry and the wet but this sort of iffy in between um, doesn't really help anyone, unfortunately. Getting a bit more comfortable in some of these corners, going a little bit harder, which is good. And, um... But now we just didn't have the grip. Um, trying out different lines, wide and tight in some shapes on the brakes not always working 
bobber and some curves. It's all good fun slicks in a way. I do love these conditions, especially from the days I used to do high carts. It's just so much fun. Ah, Not having quite as much fun there. And you can probably hear um, engine not starting up. And that's because of the uh, clutch slipping. Now, um, Luke's going to love me for mentioning this, but he actually fitted a new clutch um, in the build-up to this event. And I've never had a breakdown or a mechanical fault with Luke as my mechanic in the last two or three years. And he's prided himself on this 100% record, but um, <laughs> no matter what excuse he's going to use, unfortunately, that run is going to come to an end and we're finally going to have to park it. Sorry? Did you get that call again or not? Did they come over here Alright. Yeah, I only speak English, so. Oh, sorry. So, Luke, you had a 100% record of no breakdowns. Uh, technically, he's still 100% that it wasn't my fault. Um, um, let's see the damage, let's see the damage. It's broke. If I didn't Even though you fitted a new clutch. With my... With my... So, back out for another session, uh, third or fourth session at this point, and the outlap had actually been quite dry. So I was going flat out into the first corner, and yeah, I was made a mockery of that. actually thought it was just me being an idiot. And it wasn't until at this point where you see the other car come up behind me that I realised it's actually wet again joy oh joy so um yeah absolutely zero grip zero visibility Ooh. nice little save there on the brakes having to drive with my visor up so um yeah just to actually be able to see the corners but as you can see with the visor down this is what i i can actually see or in this case not see um yeah in the wet Especially when you're on slicks, you just want to smash the curbs to help rotate the cart. Turn in a bit earlier, turn off the rubber line where the, where the grip normally is in the dry. Um, in some cases it might mean taking a wide line. In this case, sometimes taking a tight line. Just the, the, the general consensus is to, to get off the rubber that's normally laid down by the slick tyres in the dry. And uh, yeah, there's some very expensive sounds as we're going through this chicane. Wow, it's not these curves. The centre line on this track is like ice. As you can see, that black line is just yeah. You get a win on that. Hey. I, I'm I'm clearly thrilled that it started raining a lap into a dry session when everyone else's session has been okay. But yeah, that was the end of another session. So we we probably got about two decent dry sessions, and the wet the rest has been greasy, wet, and we've broken down. So it's not been ideal. We, we've we've learned a lot. We've actually made some steps forward in places, but um, yeah, just just not quite ideal. Um, the forecast for Sunday was, was very very wet, and it remained very very wet. Unfortunately, not allowed to film those uh, races. We actually just are in, in around the top ten, um, sixteen to eighteen cards, which, oh. given we had didn't have any wet side when else, was quite decent in my opinion. <laughs> Summarise the day, oh, that's Mr. Right. LJ. Um, very productive, but you couldn't put the things you learned into practice because you start getting wet. And the clutch shots. But it was mostly because the track was just, as you can see. The first half a lap was dry for both sessions. Yeah. Uh, so it thought it'd be alright, but then it's like Also running on the official detonator's chassis. Where's it gone? Mm. You can faintly see it. It still says Joe on it. It's cold. It's wet. And I'm about five and a half hours from home. The glamour of karting. So, flash forward another couple of weeks and we're back at Wilton Mill again. This time for their club championship. This is on the Friday, 
doing a three day weekend just to get as much seat time as possible really because we, we really struggled on the test day last time here um, lacking a bit of confidence just in the mixed conditions wanting to push and then every time we push just falling off the track basically so I wanted to do the Friday test day really you know take my time getting back into it build some confidence so that come the Saturday sending it hard on the brakes um, so come the Saturday that we're we're in the mix and making any move happen in the early laps just yeah just turning up the aggression getting into race mode it's a first proper race for us this weekend because we're actually going for new tyres and, and doing it properly the, the water law event was more of, a, more of an extended test really um, there were some improvements don't get me wrong there were, there were some people on new tyres who were struggling to get past us on absolutely old shag ones and we had that just been lying around in the yard for ages so yeah main thing we're working on here today is our braking and our, our general our steering inputs that's been our main weakness now if you've been watching the last video um, that three-day test we did we're hacking away the wheel we're not we're not smooth and ultimately we're also not going in hard enough which is it's, it's quite difficult to put into words You're, you don't want to overdrive the car um, but at the same time you're being told to go in harder and basically to go in harder you've just got to you know slow the cart down more go in at that speed but just slow it down more slowing it down on the front or on the brakes you know just still going in hard into the corner but being smooth on the input which is something that's very difficult to master um, it can be quite tempting to try and push too much and you know and it, it might feel like you're on the, the edge and you're driving really fast but often when you're hacking away at the wheel and you're, you're sliding through the corners and you know you, you're, you're sweating a bit after a session Usually that's a sign that you're actually overdriving. The sessions where I've been at my quickest, I get out of the car afterwards and, you know, I'm barely sweating, if at all. I feel like I've got plenty of energy. I don't feel like I've worked that hard. And that's usually a telltale sign. Unless, of course, it's a very hot, grippy day, in which case you'll probably be knackered. Either way, but yeah, this is just cutting into one of the sessions later in the day. Um, we're actually in the process of making quite a radical setup change with our axle. I won't tell you exactly what we've done because that would just be completely stupid. And to be honest, we're on a different car to most people anyway, so. Your life! Bing bang! As I was saying before, just wanting to do it properly this year. Which might mean spending a bit more money in other areas, and you know, uh, Miles who was helping run me on this day, along with Luke and uh, Joe, uh, was saying, you know, and and an different axle might help here. This might help here, and it did involve spending a bit more money. And a couple of years ago, I probably wouldn't have bothered spending that money, but I'm quite glad I did because, as you can see, pace isn't too bad on these tyres, which are completely shot. I think they were the ones we used the Wigan and GYG and warden and what have you so they've done a lot of running by this point and yet we're still able the car actually still feels really really good um, getting stuck behind some traffic here and as you can see just how much we're gaining on the brakes compared to usual i mean i know this guy might not be a front runner um and we're also going to turn up the aggression and just go for some a bit of a silly move clearly didn't make the track that's why i thought it was best to cut it there so bearing in mind that we're on tires that are probably well over a couple of days old at this point um, we we're actually setting PBs. I actually went into the 44s for the first time at Wilton Mill, 44.9. So yeah, it worked. This is the last session of the day. And yeah, after the penultimate one, I felt really, really confident. Pushing a little bit too hard there into the boot. But yeah, carrying good speed through the first section. And then just having so much more confidence on the brakes than usual. Just braking hard and late, but at the same time not letting the car step out too much brake getting it slowed down in a straight line using the front a bit to slow down um, but yeah we, we feel quite comfortable here tucked up behind um, Oliver Meadows and the Argenti car um, you know, the Argenti team are yeah, there aren't really any slow drivers in that team so if we can sort of 
stay with guys from that that's a good time but look how much we close on the braking just there through christmas that that's really one of the the big things of this weekend just having so much more confidence on the brakes and which is good we feel pretty racy now heading into the saturday um despite the older tires so we should be quite good come new <laughs> it's lights out it's and away we mow. It's still there. <laughs> Miles Savage leads into the infield, but we have a oh we have competitors are doing the, the Joker lap, and we got we got double wave yellows for the children on the track. Double wave yellows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What did you order, Luke? I ordered a chicken burger without an egg. <laughs> but you you left yourself logged in, mate. You didn't finish that order. Enjoy the egg. I'll tell. You can't eat it with the egg. That's, that's eat it with the egg. The egg will be consumed, but not in the burger. No. So, Saturday dawns. Another bright, sunny day. Glorious day for uh, late in February. But yeah, we have a few practice sessions in the morning. And then we go into the first heat on the Saturday afternoon. So here we go, Saturday practice. Uh, lots of carts here today. All the competitors here now today. Um, yeah, not missing about getting straight out at the front. Still on the same set ties. We did try another set in the first two sessions, but they were actually even worse than what we had on the Friday. So in the end, we just reverted back to the tires we were on, which were pretty old anyway, for the sake of three sessions. Um, so just trying to work with what we've got, chasing this pack up here. Still working on our braking, still working on our smoothness. So a couple of corners that Miles pointed out to me the other day, and. Um, yeah, really trying to work on this infield section. Trying to let the cart spit me out too wide here. Well, using all the track, but not getting sideways. Nice and tight through here. Into the boot, holding it more to the left to open up the right. Getting a really nice run through there compared to normal. So we're definitely making some improvements with our lines, even if the ultimate lap times might not show it just yet on these tyres, but we're young on the X cart having an adventure and we're going to breeze past said X car or whatever the f*** that is um, but yeah already pulling a few cart links on into the fast S's do absolutely balls up the hairpin and mash piece for good measure but yeah this weekend was another significant step forward Oh no, that, 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 that. It's a historic moment. I have to That's better. Better not build that. Just it. No! It still has uses, it's quite attractive. That's the binning one. So yeah, this weekend overall was quite a good I'd say it was a success. Now um due to the rules with club rounds we can't actually film this event. Um, there was a live broadcast, but because I'm not really in any of the footage, I didn't see much point in including it. But yeah, our first heat on the Saturday was okay, we made up some steady progress. Um, the second heat we got driven over, which is a shame because that was our front start. Right now, our middle start, sorry. 
And then for our front start, we actually surprised ourselves. We managed to hold our own quite nicely and come home P8 at the flag out of 30 something carts, I believe. So, um, yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, yeah, we're now at the point where we may not be right in that front group, but we're quick enough to give some of the fast boys a bit of a problem trying to pass us. Right, they're, they're, they're a queue of much, much quicker front running carts who couldn't quite get past. But we finished the Saturday with a little gym session. Um, which is quite good fun. Bit of a laugh, but also a serious note to it. These cards are quite physical. Next that we've got here and yeah, uh, in I the junior category, we've got a driver here looking very cool with his more. shades on. <laughs> uh, I'm not allowed to have shades on at the moment. But who have we got here? We've got Will Barnes, the uh, factory GMS driver, the one and only. The one and only factory driver, Will Barnes. <laughs> Will, how was uh, how's your morning been so far? Well, I mean, uh, so far it's all right. So far it's all right. How was yesterday? Um. So, so, need to be a bit braver, make any move happen, drive over a few people, uh, ticking all the boxes this weekend, um, drive into one person, drive over him, bend another guy. Um, the aim is to make as many moves as possible happen, and um, yeah, at all costs. Okay, fair enough. And uh, uh, you're the 73, are you? Yeah, that is, it's, the, it's the beautiful GMS S30 over here. The one and only GMS as you can see. It's uh, the one and only factory uh, spec chassis designed by Mr. Big, Dave Griffiths himself. Absolutely beautiful. The fastest thing on the grid. We're actually sandbagging a little bit, you know, just to hold it back and not try the true pace until today. Um, so that's why we were a little bit slow. We were about half a second slower than we were on old tyres. But um, uh, apart from the tyres, so um, not tyres off, no. Um, but yeah, we're just holding back. And then today we're gonna we're gonna go for every single move, win every heat, and uh, yeah, should be easy pickings. Well, best of luck today, and we'll keep a close eye on you. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, lovely weather that we've got, so hopefully it stays nice and sunny. Oh, the sun's always shining when I'm there. Excellent stuff, good stuff. Well, <laughs> Barnes there. Uh, let's go for a uh, ponder because we've got how much time have we got left? Anthony there from Alpha Live, a little bit lost for words. Not sure he appreciated the mention of tyres off. Getting new bodywork, they said. Oof. You Oof. can do the stickers next time. You what? You what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you join us at to Mill after the second heat. And uh, my lovely brand new race bodywork has been officially christened. Yeah, someone actually managed to drive over my foot nice but yeah so that's it for this video um but like i promised i was going to confirm what our racing pads actually were and what all this testing is actually for now <laughs> if you if you've been following this championship you already know that the first race has actually already happened at the time of uploading this video but in 2022, we are going to be competing in the Ultimate Karting Championship, travelling around the country um, at six awesome circuits, including Wilton Mill, which is the first round a week after this Wilton pre-round. So that's why we've been at Wilton Mill and Waterloo and GYG, Rara, etc. Because um, we're going to be getting stuck in with some of the best in the country and really going for it this year. So the next video you will see will be the very first round of the UKC from Wilton Mill. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your mates and all that. And um, I promise you the very next episode and the coming episode is going to be much more exciting with all the race footage, multiple angles. We're allowed to film our races. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot more action. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.